Hello, my name is Narayan and I'm a research scientist at QIMR. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a larval biosay. Insecticides and larvicides help us to control Aedes aegypti populations that is responsible for transmitting diseases like dengue, chikungunya, and Zika. For testing resistance, this assay will compare the mortality of four groups of larvae exposed to a discriminating dose of insecticide compared to four groups without insecticide. For these assays, we will be using Temephos, one of the most common larvicide used against Aedes aegypti. The first step for either of these procedures is to dilute the existing larvicide stock so that it is equivalent to the discriminating dose or recommended field rate. The World Health Organization has established a discriminating dose for this larvicide, which is 0.012 mg per liter. When groups of larvae are transferred to the containers with the insecticide, water will be transferred. This has to be factored into our calculations. We will control how much clean water to transfer with the larvae. Then correct that by making the insecticide in the treatment containers slightly less diluted. You will need stock solution of a non-insecticide concentration. You also need disposable pipettes or syringes of 1 mil, 5 mil, and 10 mil. Two glass graduated beakers or flasks one less than a liter and one that carries 100 to 500 ml. Lastly, you will need clean rainwater or dechlorinated tap water. Let's start by making a solution of 0.016 mg per liter of Tamiflu in 150 ml of water. We will put our four groups of larvae in exactly 50 ml of clean water and we will be adding that to the containers with 150 ml of 0.016 mg per liter. This calculation shows that when we add 50 ml of clean water and larvae to 150 ml treated water, we will meet our target dose of 0.012 mg per liter. We will need enough of that initial 0.016 mg per liter concentration for four groups of larvae. Our stock concentration is 6.25 mg per liter and the initial concentration required is 0.016 mg per liter. Therefore, the stock insecticide must be diluted 391 times to achieve 0.016 mg Per liter. If 2 ml of stock is added to 780 ml of water, this gives us more than the required volume that we will need for the 4 containers of 0.016 mg per liter of Tamiflu. 150 ml of this is added to each treatment container. Once we add the 50 ml of water containing the larvae, that final volume of 200 ml will contain the required 0.012 mg per liter insecticide. Use a mixture of the graduated flask or beakers and the 1, 5, 10 ml pipettes or syringes to balance the dilution. For the Temephos assay, larvae are exposed to the WHO discriminating dose for resistance. You will need 200 third or fourth instar larvae sourced either from field collection or laboratory rearing. Add clean disposable cups for preparing the groups of larvae for treatment and controls. 600 ml of Tamiflu and 600 ml of clean or dechlorinated tap water for our untreated containers. And Add 200 ml glass or plastic containers. Four will be used for the treatment and the other four are our control group to compare. Finally, 
you will need a system to record the date, species, insecticide, origin of larvae, and mortality. The first step is to pour 50 ml of clean water into each of the eight disposable cups. Mark the 50 ml label with a pen on the side of each. Then transfer groups of 25 larvae into each cup and add or remove clean water until each contains exactly 50 ml. Now we are going to prepare the containers. Mark the four containers with T1 through to T4 for our treatment containers and C1 to C4 for the control groups. Pour 150 ml of the diluted Tamiflos that we prepared earlier into each treatment container. Pour 150 ml of clean water into each of the control containers. Once that's done, gently transfer the larvae and the 50 ml of water in each cup into a container. Repeat this step until 8 containers contain larvae. There should be 200 ml of water in each container. Treatment containers will also have the diagnostic dose of an insecticide resistance assay. Set the containers to one side and make sure they are in the shade. After 24 hours of exposure, record the larval mortality. For slower acting insecticides, longer holding times may be required to see results. Moribund larvae and dead larvae are combined when calculating mortality. Dead larvae are those that do not move when probed. Moribund larvae are incapable of rising to the surface or showing the sluggish swimming and diving behavior. With this bias, we expect 100% mortality for a fully susceptible population. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank you.